Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in Lauderdale by the Sea. Um, beautiful day out, and I say that every day because every day that you're walking on this earth is probably a beautiful day. The alternative is a dirt nap, and I'm not sure how good dirt naps are, so be thankful no matter what. And today, oh my god, a fucking bloodbath, and that deserved a bleeping for sure, but definitely a bloodbath and beyond. More than I expected, but you know what? Don't panic. Definitely don't panic. Uh, to not totally unexpected. Again, in uh, times like this in the month of May and the increases we have, uh, I think what we have seen here is a, a combination of uh, severe monkey hammering and, uh, oh, hold on, let me move along here. Severe monkey hammering. And my advice to you is don't panic. I was looking for my little uh, thing there. Let me move that over there. Don't panic. And what else here? Take a breathe, breathe out, take a relaxation, don't get too upset about this. Again, are you trading daily? If you are trading daily, then you got hammered pretty bad. And let me say what happened. If you were day trading with gold and silver, you got monkey hammered badly today. You had a bloodbath and beyond today. So if you're a day trader, unless you just completely nailed it right, which I think is kind of unlikely, uh, you had a terrible day. But for us physical guys that just uh, buy gold and silver and uh, uh, stackers, so to speak, stackers in gold and silver, uh, nothing happened because really it's just a down day and it provided you an opportunity to buy at a lower price. And uh, if you didn't have the money to buy at a lower price, big effing deal because were you going to sell today? No. Were you going to sell this week? No. Uh, the only thing you could have possibly done is buy more. Uh, however, I can imagine that for some of the new stackers out there and then the people that are new at buying gold and silver, that they might panic a little bit because you know, this is all new for you. But, you know, there's a couple things I want to go over here. First off, that I am absolutely sure that the prices were monkey hammered at some point here today and uh, that it, that was part of the bloodbath. And my understanding, it had something to do with dollar strength, as you say. I love that torn term right there. Dollar NATO. It's like shark NATO. Uh, dollar NATO slams stocks, gold and silver as election ink spreads. However, check out this graph. I mean, that's pretty freaking dramatic there. Look at the uh, the rebound of the dollar here. Uh, I'm sure it has something to do with the Fed speaking today and other things. Uh, uh, but, you know, we've been talking about dollar strength for a little while. Remember what I told you? The only thing that was going to drive the price down of gold and silver would be dollar strength. And as I have said over and over, it will only be temporary. Will it go back and look at last week's video? I almost said this verbatim. Uh, if we do have lower prices from where we are sitting, and again, I was expecting a $1,900 to $2,000 range in gold and silver, I was expecting like, you know, 25 24 or actually really 25 to like 29 range. Uh, but however, I'm, I'm not really surprised to see this. And as I said, you know, we could see bigger down days with dollar strength. But take a look at this as far as dollar strength goes. I mean, look, August, September. Uh, look at this graph right here. Oh, my God. I mean, that's just like uber dollar strength. So I'm sure, absolutely friggin' sure, that this had a contributing effect to uh, gold and silver going down today. Absolutely. Look at that. My gosh. The dollar always has an effect on gold and silver. Uh, and we'll go into that another time, or if you come in and you get a chance to ask me, I'll tell you why. Or you can research it yourself. However, dollar strength had a lot to do with why we uh, uh, saw lower gold and silver prices today, and uh, as well as major monkey hammering, because this lower prices really happened when we were all sleeping, uh, and before New York even opened up this morning. So, you know, probably in London most likely because uh, that's the most crooked gold and silver market there is. I'm sorry. Shouldn't have said it, but I did. It's true. However, don't worry. They can't win for long. You know, <clears throat> physical is the winner in the long term. So really, if you're a day trader, you got hammered. So uh, don't, you know, like I said, unless you know what you're doing, don't be a day trader. And uh, most of us are not. Most stackers and people that invest in gold and silver are not day traders. Uh, so there's no reason to panic. And if you are panicking, uh, you know, relax, relax. Here, be like this, dude. Just kind of sit back and relax a little bit. Because you know what? You had no margin calls. You had no issues you had to deal with. Uh, in fact, if you didn't even look at gold and silver prices for the whole week and the next week, uh, and for the month of September, and you just look next month, it's highly likely that you would not even have noticed this. You wouldn't even care. You would have been this guy just sleeping on the couch. So unless you kind of follow the market every day, like I said, 
do not panic, do not panic. Uh, the, mon the market got monkey hammered. We, uh, <laughs> and uh, what else do we say here? And it's mostly due with the dollar strength. And again, uh, markets getting monkey hammered. And when I talk about monkey hammered, what am I talking about here? Well, <clears throat> oh, here, keep calm and carry on. So if you're one of the ones out there panicking that uh, you think your silver investment is going to collapse to shit and your gold investment is going to go to shit, uh, relax. Don't worry about it. Just kind of like, for, for, as I said yesterday, uh, <laughs> pretend September, just go to sleep in September, more or less. Uh, the other thing, strange thing that I noticed today, and this is a video that I did on this, top silver, gold, and price, top silver and gold price, uh, uh, price sources. Well, all the different gold and silver uh, prices uh, that I was looking at today, whether it was Kitco, like I was looking at here, and if you look at our uh, videos here, uh, I did a little video on all the different spot prices and how they vary so much, uh, whether it's the uh, resellers, and uh, nothing negative about resellers. I was just pointing out that the prices vary so much on the gold prices. Today was one of those days where the precious metal prices, if you're on any of the major bullion sellers' websites, their prices varied so much, mostly to the upside. A lot of the other uh, sites that were mostly wholesale sites were on the lower side. Uh, all the sites were diverging as far as what the spot prices were. So it was a very strange day trying to figure out what actual spot prices are. Uh, let me just refresh my page here. This is a paid subscription service, CCE. Uh, I've been with them for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. I can't remember how many long I've been on this. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, they provide spot prices, and I like to, like to use them in our reports here. Uh, New York closed at 1859.60. Wow, that's an ass kicking for sure. Uh, down 38 bucks, uh, the high 1887, the low 1859. Uh, silver also, man, uh, I want to point something out here too. Uh, silver, I, as I have said in my videos forever here, silver is a wild and crazy guy. Silver, when gold makes a move, silver is going to be like the drama queen or the drama king, whatever you want to say, the drama queen, because silver really is a drama queen of precious metals. Uh, when gold moves, silver just moves dramatically one way or another. Uh, and if it doesn't move, it will eventually. Uh, but again, especially when it goes down, uh, New York uh, gold prices uh, went down. That's not too far, 40 bucks from 1900. I mean, we're not too far from 1900, but percentage-wise, holy crap. Uh, and again, silver, like I said, likes to make those wild, crazy moves. If you're a day trader, you can get badly hammered in silver. And I've said this many times in my videos. You can get badly hammered in silver if you're a day trader. And you most likely will because these markets are highly manipulated on the short-term basis, in my opinion. Uh, let's take a look at New York. Uh, a low of 2370. No, a low of 2299. And I think it was actually lower than that for some point. Wow. Uh, again, that's a bloodbath for silver. But again, you don't have to worry about if you own physical silver. These are paper markets that are really doing this. Uh, and, and I don't trust these paper markets anyway. You own real precious metals in your hand. You don't own uh, uh, zeros and ones or uh, digital gold or silver. Uh, so look at this range here, 2299 to 2370 is the range. Uh, down $1.42. Uh, uh, wow. Uh, pretty severe, but silver makes those $1 and $2 moves. So again, as I said, uh, this is not unexpected for the month of September, you know, and platinum kind of, kind of, uh, tethered out a little bit, uh, or, or kind of leveled out, I get tethered out, leveled out a little bit, uh, down 14 bucks and around the 18, 14, 8, 842, but platinum has just been cheap all along, and, and just unexplainable why it's been so cheap, and I couldn't see it going down much further than from where it's been already, so I think platinum is pretty much at its bottom or near at its bottom. I can't imagine people not trying to buy it up at these low levels right here. Uh, same thing with silver. Uh, if you got the money to buy silver and the premiums aren't too bad, by the way, the premiums do suck on this product, by the way. If you're buying physical, uh, it's gotten really tight out there. Again, go figure. Uh, premiums are higher than they were. Go figure. Uh, but anyway, uh, these are paper prices that you're seeing right here. This is the paper market driving gold, silver, and platinum. Not the physical markets. These are the paper markets. And take that for what it's worth. Uh, however, if you can buy at these levels and buy reasonable at these levels, physical, and you know what? Paper markets are safe to buy right now, I think. I don't think any uh, COMEX or ETFs are going to default. So if you can temporarily kind of uh, be a day trader and buy at these levels, maybe you won't do too bad. 
uh, if you can get back out of them fairly quickly and buy your physical gold afterwards. Uh, look at platinum, up 28 bucks. What the fuck? Excuse my language. You can bleep that out, Marcelo. Uh, a metal I really hate. Uh, however, uh, just doing... I don't even know what it does. Who the hell buys palladium? Why is it up 18 bucks when everything else is down across the board? I mean, if that ain't some market that's controlled by some little group of people, again, since it's such a small marketplace, and that applies to silver and uh, not so much gold, but silver too. Silver is such a small marketplace that it only takes, you know, a little bit of money in the grand scale of the scope of things to really control the silver market. And palladium is probably the same way and platinum is the same way. These markets are probably high, highly manipulated in some degree in the paper markets. But again, I think that on paper, silver and platinum are way too cheap. I think gold is probably right where it needs to be. Uh, so the uh, paper markets and the physical markets on gold, I think, are probably being pretty much par. But I think, anyways, I think silver is too cheap. I think platinum is too cheap. And I'm not going to keep railing on platinum. I just don't understand it. But it's up 28 bucks. Uh, let's take a look at the world spot prices. Is it six? No, it's five thirty. Uh, world spot prices open up again in another twenty-six uh, minutes, but they did close at eighteen sixty-four, a little bit higher than New York. Uh, silver closed at twenty-two seventy-nine, lower than New York. And uh, my whole uh, uh, thoughts that uh, world spot prices were pretty much leading the market most of the time uh, have been true up to this last week or so when. Uh, the strength of the dollar has kind of played into uh, weakness in precious metals markets, as long as well as the monkey hammering that I was talking about here for a while. So, anyways, uh, like I said, if you're really panicked and you're a new buyer, uh, relax. Don't worry about it. Don't go selling your silver and gold position thing. Maybe I made a mistake. I'm I'm wrong, and I'll tell you why you're probably not wrong. Like I said, relax, breathe out. Keep calm and carry on. <laughs> so, uh, and again, spot prices, like I said, were really wacky uh, today. So uh, as far as where you were looking for spot prices on what website and who, who, uh, what online seller, or whether you were calling me, uh, it was a wacky day. They were all different. It was hard to find good, decent spot prices to sell physical silver at. Um, as I said, take a look at my videos here uh, called Top Silver and Gold Spot Price Sources. Uh, I talk about that subject right there, and I think today was really a good example of why you should look at that video. Uh, let's move along here. You know, I'm not even going to call what I think could happen tomorrow. I mean, 1864, we could see 1850 market tomorrow. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but again, September is just a really screwed up month, really quiet, mostly for precious metals. And when things are quiet, things do get monkey hammered, as I said, and uh, a lot of games are played. Add that with dollar strength and all kinds of things that are going on, confusing markets. Um, you know, explainable. But unless you're a day trader, you have nothing to worry about. Um, this was very interesting, and I'm going to move along to, you know, we were talking about, well, why, why would gold and silver go down other than dollar strength? Is it because maybe, like, the world is getting to be a better place, the economy is getting better, the dollar is going to get stronger? And again, remember, today was part of uh, dollar strength. That is the reason, or part of the reason, that uh, uh, gold and silver prices got hammered today is because of dollar strength. Uh, so, do you believe that this dollar strength is going to continue? No. If you've been watching our videos, we don't believe that because we believe that these little dollar strength things may, may happen for a day or a week or something like that, but the dollar is not going to stay strong for long, especially when you are reading stuff like this. In an unprecedented monetary overhaul, the Fed is preparing to deposit digital dollars directly to each American. This is MMT, folks, MMT theory, more or less, which means that... Uh, uh, everybody gets a paycheck. Uh, the Fed prints endless dollars. And uh, really, what does this do for the long-term and medium-term prospect of gold? And they're going to do this. They're going to do this. That's why the dollar strength, like we've seen this week, make no freaking sense. They're just trading moves or something or some kind of manipulation that's going on. Really, because is, is this dollar strength uh, temporary or is it long-term? It's temporary. You can't just keep printing like this. And look, they're absolutely doing it. They're talking about another bailout for American citizens here. And what does that mean? They have to print more dollars. And what does that mean for gold? Well, probably damn good things for gold and silver. So this week is just an anomaly. If, if you had an opportunity to buy at these prices, great. If not, don't worry about it. Just ride it out and relax like the frog did over here. Where's my frog? Let's see. Let's take a look. 
Oh man, can't find, oh there he is. Just relax like this guy. I get a little panicky and angry today too, but again, don't worry about it. Are we selling our gold and silver bars right now? No, so relax. Just wait, the market will bounce back here. And as far as manipulations go, uh, uh, I was talking about that a little bit. Here, let me move on to the next one here. Uh, I like Ted Butler, by the way, and this was a good article. Ted Butler talks about uh, uh, comics over contracts and how comics controls these markets and uh, why the dominant plane is doing to manipulate the price. Uh, I highly recommend reading this article. Uh, it, pause this video, type this into your browser, the who, how, and why behind silver price manipulation. And uh, I think this guy wrote it here. Uh, it's an it's, uh, interview with Ted Butler, and Ted Butler talks about how silver, and remember I was just saying that silver is a very small marketplace, highly manipulated. It's absolutely true, but don't worry about it. If you don't play, you can't win, and the game is rigged to some degree, but these guys won't win in the long term. The people that actually have the real metal in their hand will be the winners in the long term, but highly recommend you read this, the who, how, and why behind silver price manipulation. As soon as you're done with this video, watching me, listening to me, uh, uh, type this in and uh, and read this for sure. Uh, also, you know, if you don't think that this exists, and again, I've told people tell me, hey, you're a tin foil hat kind of guy, Brian. You believe in the precious metals manipulation. And I've had some pretty smart people tell me this, and eventually uh, they had to eat crow because you know why? Uh, it was discovered that, for example, J.P. Morgan. Uh, man, these guys are evil to some degree, too. Uh, they're only concerned about their bottom line, really not about their customers. They may say they are. That's just my opinion. Of course, uh, to pay a record $1 billion settlement over precious metals treasury manipulation. Uh, you, you can read this on Zero Hedge as well. This is absolutely true. This is not made up. Uh, and unfortunately, Wall Street Journal, as lame as they are, won't print articles like this. I don't know why. Maybe because J.P. Morgan is a big... Uh, advertiser of theirs. That perhaps why, but needless to say, J.P. Morgan had to pay a record one billion dollars seven over precious metal treasury manipulation. And let me tell you, before you read this, here is why they did that. You know why they did that? Because they made twenty fucking billion dollars, and they didn't mind paying a billion to settle the whole deal and not have criminal charges. That's exactly what happened. These people are so fucking rich. Excuse me for uh, going off like this. That uh, th they just pay the fines. You know why? Because, again, he's paying a $1 billion settlement on precious metals. They absolutely probably made, and again, I'm just going to pull the number out of my, but there's, they made way more than a billion dollars on this. Otherwise, they had their attorneys kind of fighting it. So they just said, hey, pay the fine. We made way more than that. We're cool with that. And uh, that's J.P. Morgan for you. Uh, definitely uh, read this article as well. It's in uh, uh, Zero Hedge. Uh, and I'd go over it myself, but I'd rather have you read it. I think you'll be much smarter than... Uh, for it than me just picking out little pieces and having you do it, uh, or having uh, me do it. Anyway, uh, also, uh, our, uh, on videos, if you get a chance on YouTube, type in Ted Butler, How Does Silver Manipulation End? Ted Butler is a longtime silver trader. He knows this manipulation better than anyone. I've been reading his stuff for 20 years. He's absolutely spot on. But the, Ted Butler is also it acknowledges that this market is highly manipulated in silver. Uh, however, he does not tell you to stop playing. He doesn't tell you to stop buying it. You know, manipulation happens in all markets, but it doesn't last long. And again, the people that make the most money that are, are the people that acknowledge that it's happening, understand what to do and how to do it. And this is where physical buying comes in handy, folks. Uh, but I highly recommend that you watch Ted Butler. How does silver manipulation end? Uh, there's a part two. There's probably a part one there. Also type in Ted Butler Silver Manipulation in your browser and read any of the articles that you can. Uh, he's a very bright guy. He explains a lot of this stuff way more than I can. And if you're really interested in it, you will take the time to read it. Um, Wall Street Journal, not much there. Bunch of lips. Hey, let me take a quick look and see. Quick look and see what the uh, uh, Dow Jones did down 525 points. Kind of hemorrhage. Nothing much here, a bunch of political nonsense, so I'll kind of back up there, and let's take a look. Well, nothing about gold and silver, especially silver getting the shit kicked out of this week. Easy diamond trading system. Look, this is the commodities page in Wall Street Journal. What a bunch of bullshit these people are. I'm sorry. Love the publication. Use it for what it is. Read between the lines. But really, as far as precious metals goes, they hate gold and silver. They really do. They cater to J.P. Morgan and all these other companies that they actually get advertising dollars from. Uh, take a look at this. CME, 
A NASDAQ to launch water futures contract. Farmers are known to pray for rain. Now they can hedge against unanswered invocations. Are you fucking kidding me? There's a future contract for water. Isn't water free? Last I heard. No, it's not. Actually, you have to pay for water now. And people are buying water rights as well. So farmers have to pay for water as well. It's not free anymore. It's, my understanding is that uh, one of the things that was free in life was water, air, and a couple other things. Apparently not true anymore. Uh, anyway, a, uh, 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 water's future contract. These people are worse than the Las Vegas uh, uh, casinos. Oh, my God. Betting on... This is just insane. This just lets you know that we are kind of, in my opinion, at end times <laughs> as far as sanity goes. Anyways, I shouldn't say that. Uh, it's been a long day for me. And uh, I'm sure it has been for you, too, if you've been watching these prices. However, just as I said, calm down. We got monkey hammer today. Don't worry about it. It was a bloodbath. Yet, you know, don't panic. Uh, and my advice, uh, if you are panicking, uh, just relax. Uh, don't sell your positions right now. Let's see what happens. I think we are going to earnestly see uh, the market kind of taper off right here with gold and silver. I don't see much more downside than this. Uh, however, let's see what happens. September is not over, and September is a strange, slow month, easily manipulated. October is going to be really the crazy month. Let's see what happens. Anyway, this is Brian Kuzmar, Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals, 954-493-8811. Call me anytime for live quotes and what products we have. We do have some really cool products. And uh, <clears throat> let's see what the premiums are tomorrow. So uh, if you can buy at these lower levels, you still have some money to buy at these lower levels, it will offset you quite a bit. Uh, or it'll lower your uh, average, uh, so to speak. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. Uh, get some rest and uh, watch me tomorrow.